Hey guys, my name's Dave. I just thought I'd quickly show you how to use the drum kits within uh, GarageBand. <clears throat> These are the same drum kits that you get by default in Logic Pro X, so it could be helpful for either. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you just want to press this little plus button and add a drummer uh, and then hit create. Uh, the other way that you can do it, you can just right click over here and go add new drummer track. Anyway, by default what pops up is this SoCal kit and it gives you two regions, uh, so they're both eight bars. So just say, you know, you're uh, wanting to have like a verse section and then um, a chorus section. You can edit these individually, which is really, really helpful. Um, if you need to uh, create another one, I just say uh, you had a bridge, uh, then you could hold command. Uh, so that's command and then click in the region and it'll create you a separate. It'll create a, uh, sorry about that. It'll create an actual separate uh, region for you. Okay, so that's command and then click where you want it. Okay, and you can create as many of those as you want. Uh, anyway, uh, before we start, I think that it's important that you choose a drum kit that you like the sound of. Okay, um, by default, it's the SoCal kit. Um, so go through, listen to them, uh, and uh, you know choose which one you favor. Uh, I like the East Bay one. Okay, so I'm just going to choose it. <clears throat> And let me turn that down. Uh, so I prefer this kit. Um, and here are all of your settings uh, that you can change on the kit. But I'm going to start with uh, the drummer. So um, basically what GarageBand has done is um, given you uh, 100 different presets. Uh, and they've put names to them. So um, if you go down into here to hip hop, you can choose a hip hop drummer. These hip hop drummers don't necessarily use uh, the drum kits here. Some of them use electronic drum kits. If you go into R&B, uh, you've got a couple of uh, preset people, uh, and uh, you can, you know, go through and choose. You might like some of them. I'm just going to choose rock and choose the default guy, Kyle, because basically you can make him play whatever you want. Um, so <clears throat> they have a couple of, you know, different feels and stuff like that, but I'm just going to use Kyle. Now, um, all of these, all the things I'm going to tell you will work for any of the drummers, though. So what they have is they have uh, these set presets. If you if you go through them, what you'll notice is changing is uh, all of these settings here. Okay, so they have some uh, set um, presets. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through the presets. <clears throat> okay, so um, the first thing that you probably want to um, look at is what uh, part of the drum kit you want playing. Uh, so you can choose, there's three options. You can have the cymbals, kick and snare. Tom's kick and snare, or hi-hat kick and snare. Okay, so they're the three options. So that's the first thing you want to choose. I'm just going to go through the hi-hat kick and snare. Um, now, uh, I'm going to solo the hi-hat here. Uh, and you've got four main hits with the hi-hat. I'll put it up loud. Uh, maybe medium. You've got four main patterns, okay? Okay. And those patterns don't change. Okay, I'll just repeat that. Sorry about that. Those patterns don't change. So um, if I'm playing through there and I want uh, this quicker hi-hat, you know, every 16th note, um, that's the pattern I want, then uh, what I can do is I can come here and I can make it loud and complex. And what you'll notice is that it'll just open up the hi-hat a little bit more. Uh, if I go down here into the bottom corner, soft and simple, it just uh, doesn't hit it as hard. So that's what this gauge here does. You've got loud and loud and more complex, right? Uh, and you've got um, simple and soft, okay? So I'm just going to go back to the first option. All right, hit it softer if I want to go down, hit it harder. And that, and that time too, the, the hi-hat's open. Okay, so that's what uh, the hi-hat options are. Now let's go, we'll turn the um, snare back on. Uh, you've got eight options with the snare. Well, I'll turn the kick on as well. Uh, you've got eight options with the kick and the snare. So you just go through and listen to the one which you like. Again, if you go uh, loud and complex, it'll be harder. Um, but it'll typically keep the same beat. If you go soft and simple, um, it might uh, change up. See how it's doing like a rim shot on the snare there. <clears throat> Whereas up here it's hitting uh, the snare really hard. Anyway, so that's that. Now, <clears throat> the last settings that you can change are the fills. So what will happen if without any fills on, there'll be um, no fills uh, in your drum track. If you turn it all the way up, notice how in the MIDI region, uh, it's, it's sort of, it's going to put a fill like every second bar. 
Okay, so it should have uh, a fill in here. And then a small fill at the end of this, um, the sixth bar here. Yeah, a little smell. And then it'll have a bigger fill uh, between the seventh and eighth bar here. So that's what fill does. You can turn them up or turn them down. And you'll notice that um, as you turn them up, um, at about halfway, you're going to get a decent fill in here and then a decent fill at the eighth. If you turn it all the way up, they go crazy with the fills. And now the last option is swing. Uh, swing is where they'll move. At the moment, you hear the um, bass. It's right on the beat. Uh, swing will move the bass or the, the kick drum. It'll move the kick drum off uh, the beat. Uh, it'll syncopate the kick drum. So if I turn it up all the way to 100%, see it's, moving the, it's moved the kick drum off the beat. So it's more syncopated. It feels like there's a little bit more swing there. Okay. Uh, last option that you have here is a tambourine uh, for percussion. Again, it has... Um, it has four options. This is good if you just want to add a tambourine to your track two. Or three options. Uh, you've got maraca. And you've got clapping. Okay. Um, so basically that's it. And you can notice how you can edit the regions individually so that, you know, through the verse, through the bridge or whatever you're doing, you can uh, change them up. Basically, that's all the settings within the drummer. Um, but what I'm going to show you now is how to actually um, create a MIDI drum kit um, so you can play in yourself. So how you do that is you add a um, software instrument. This is important. You add a software instrument instead of a drummer. Add a software instrument. And on that software instrument, you put the drum kit. So go to drum kit and choose what drum kit you want. Notice how they look the same, but they're very different. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring up view um, musical typing. Right. I've got um, I've basically got a um, old school Roland uh, electric piano plugged in via MIDI device. Uh, so um, now what you can do is uh, you can play it in yourself, right? So uh, here is you've got, okay. So here we've got our hi hats, right? You've got your snare, and that's a that that one's a rim shot. Now you've got some percussion. I think this is a clap. Uh, you've got your kick, uh, and then from here down, you've got your toms, cymbals, okay. Um, so what you can do is you can actually just um, create your own drum track. Just let me move my microphone here over to my piano. Now what you can do is you can uh, play in, uh, play in your own drum track. It's a, it takes a little bit um, more time and skill to do this. Uh, but again, uh, once you finish, you can just edit it in uh, the MIDI editor, and I'll show you how to do that. So yeah. Uh, Right, so um, let me move my thing back. Okay, I'll just quickly hide that. Now, uh, one of the things, again, if you hold Command click, you can create an empty MIDI region. Uh, and then basically you can come in here using Command. <clears throat> you can create... I might just make that. Let's paste that out. Yeah. Paste that out a couple of times. Doing well. I'm doing well. Hey, Unreal. Come on. Get pasted. Um, yeah. I haven't put those in properly, and you might think that I suck at putting stuff in, but this is what I wanted to show you, is that uh, you can actually quantize your notes. Uh, so, see so this uh, time quantize, you can choose uh, which bar you want to quantize them to. So, I'm sorry, I'm at bar one, but you can, um, what note you want to quantize it to. So, you can quantize them to the 16th or the 8th note or half notes. So, I'm going to quantize mine to the closest 16th note. Quantize, and see how it pulls them all in line properly. So um, that's a good thing about creating a MIDI track region. You don't have to be perfect. Um, okay, so uh, I can um, basically come in here. Remember, my kick is there. So I'll start off with the kick on the first beat. 
on the next fourth, and then I'll hit it on the third, and then the third, and I'll basically have myself a little 4-4. Four, four. Right, and uh, that's that. Uh, I hope that helped you out some. Uh, if you uh, need any more advice, uh, want to share something with me, please comment, like, subscribe. That'd be fantastic, guys. Uh, appreciate your day. See us.